making money with software as a service. A concept that works in so many industries, from accounting to project management, from time management to file storage. So how does it work? Well, in essence, it's fairly simple. You create a software and then people pay a monthly fee to use it. It can be something browser-based, like Basecamp for project management, or it can be a standalone app, like Dropbox. This type of business has two core advantages. It's easily scalable. You can go from 10 to 10,000 users in minutes, and you can be very precise in making predictions regarding expenses, earnings, and resources required to grow. So, what do you need to start? While in other money-making methods, the requirements in terms of know-how are pretty small or could be acquired in a few days or weeks, in this case, you need to be an expert in the programming language you plan on creating your software in. And even if you do have the skills, in most cases, you will require a team if you want the development time not to take months or even years. This is a good method in particular for seasoned programmers who want to start something on their own or with a small team. To summarize this as blunt and honest as possible, you will need a couple of thousands of hours of coding before even considering this. So when can you see results? After the months or weeks of development, you will see results as soon as you start driving traffic to your software. Even if you read tens of books on product launches, the experience will still be one of learning and discovering things. Prepare yourself for site crashes, users complaining about bugs, clients that are hyped about the product, and also clients that ask for refunds and just hate it. While being a very solid business model, this comes at a cost. Unless you are seasoned in the world of coding and even business development, the chances of failure are pretty high. But if you do succeed, then you are pretty much covered for life, unless you make some horrid business mistakes. So what are the potential earnings? I'll give you Basecamp as an example. Last week, 6,000 people registered for Basecamp. Let's say 1% of those are paying clients and got the smallest package. That means Basecamp supplemented their monthly income by $1,200. And estimates are that 10 million users have registered for Basecamp. Apply the same 1% conversion, and this means Basecamp generates about $2 million each month. Although this is just guesswork, I think it's a fair estimate of their potential earnings. So where do you start? This section is addressed at two targets. First, professionals who have those thousands of hours of coding I mentioned, to which I wish good luck because you already know what you have to build. Just remember that it will be a while before you generate any income, so be prepared if you don't have an angel investor backing you up. And for those of you dreaming of this money-making strategy, get to work and learn coding. You can start as a freelancer with things as simple as HTML and CSS, move on up to PHP and so on. But whatever you do, try to get those thousands of hours of work as fast as possible under your belt and make sure you are always learning. Now go, become the most successful software developer that the world has ever seen. Good luck.